There he is. Yes, sir. Thank you, boy. I think this is a bigger fish. Yes, sir. Look at that. That's awesome. Here he is. Come get it, redfish. Come get it, redfish. There he goes. There he goes. Thank you, Lord. See a bunch of little crabs. Look at all these crabs right here. <laughs> so we got an outgoing tide. Crabs everywhere. <laughs> and we're getting ready to go out there. I'm excited. Full moon. We're almost full moon. All right, so I'm excited. I get to go to one of my favorite places today and I get to go fishing and uh, my new setup on my kayak. I'll show you that at some point soon and looking forward to a great day, hopefully catching some fish. I've asked the Lord to help me catch some, some good ones today and uh, he's super gracious. So I'm expecting probably for that to happen, but otherwise just to appreciate the health he's given me and, and just enjoy my time. If nobody's told you lately, you are valuable. You're made in the image of God and you matter. And I'm a follower of Jesus, and I hope that you're encouraged by this channel, one, to uh, consider the claims of Jesus, two, that you would just enjoy the fishing aspect of it, and hopefully we'll get on them today. Blessings. Thanks for coming to the channel. All right, so we've got a good amount of water right now as the sun's coming up, and it is an outgoing tide, but it was a really high tide, over three feet, which means I got a lot of, a lot of water right now. And so while I've got this water, I'm going to be looking for redfish and uh, looking for trout, looking for movement, a mullet, and then later this morning, I'm gonna have to go out deeper because of the tide and uh, then come back in. So gonna be looking for redfish right now and seeing if anything wants to hook up. Probably gonna make my way over here. There's a couple of oyster bars right over here and I'm probably gonna make my way over there first and see if I can, see if I can get something to chomp down on one of my lures. That's the plan. I'm gonna try some top water action. I'll get something to jump down on it. Pretty start to the day. Beautiful. Cloud cover as the sun makes its way up. Thank you, Lord, for this pretty morning. There we go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm not sure all I got. Acting like a trout. Thank you, Lord. Been a while since I had one. There he is. Come here, buddy. Come here, little buddy. All right. Broke the ice this morning with a Z-Man paddle tail, 15-inch trout. And uh, that's how you do a quick release right there. <laughs> and I was going to let him go anyway, so that's a good thing. Good thing I didn't want to keep him. But uh, that was a good start. Thank you, Lord. Broke the ice this morning on a beautiful Monday morning the Lord's given me. So as you're about to see, I've got to do a lot of work today to find the fish. And this is one of many times that I'm having to move to get to them. This is just a moment that I wanted you to see something I got from my boat. It's called the Side Stage Pro Rod Rack and Lock and Load Mounting System from Yak Attack. Look how my rod sits in there perfectly. And then you can lock it down on both ends of the rod. It is a brilliant little piece. And I encourage you to check it out. 75 bucks worth every penny. All right, here's the part about fishing that is not fun, and that's you gotta find the fish. <laughs> they typically don't swim right up to your boat and jump on your hook. That's not how it works. And in summertime, they're more spread out and a lot of times go to deeper water. I've already been to deeper water today and didn't really catch anything. I've caught one keeper trout so far and nothing else outside of some bites here or there. Um, but nothing significant, so that's where it's at. So right now, the tide is incoming, but it's gonna take a little while to get in. So I'm just kind of cruising the shallows and seeing if I can run up on anything as I'm trolling. And I'm gonna go to a little creek that I like to check out. I doubt anything's in there. I don't even know if I'll be able to get in there based on the amount of water, but it's worth a try. And then later, hopefully, we'll get into them as the tide comes in and hopefully the fish come with it. That's the plan. This is one of those days right now, it's been frustrating outside of the weather being beautiful and reminding myself that the Lord has been super kind to me and um, I have good health and so does my family. Grateful for the local church that I'm a part of and, and what Jesus has done for me. So Jackie, get off your pity party. 
because <laughs> you're not catching fish. Man, there are people in other parts of the planet that are suffering for Jesus' name, and I'm concerned about catching fish. So hopefully I'll catch them, uh, but grateful just to be out here and for the health and freedom that we have. Yes, sir. I just caught a fish while you were on here finally. Ooh, there's a couple. Of, yeah, there's a couple of redfish. A couple of small redfish, but I hadn't caught one, a fish in quite some time. That's good news. All right, that's good news. We've run under the boat. There he is. Cool. I like catching fish. Beats, beats just fishing. I like catching is better. Come here, buddy. There he is. All right, he's in the boat. He's small, but he's super pretty, super copper. Copper tone tan. He is 18 inches, so that is keeper size. Barely. Yeah, barely. Barely hooked him too, but it's all right. Yeah, so I hadn't caught a fish in about two hours, and then my firstborn son calls, and uh, you're the good luck charm. That's what you said, right? Good luck charm on the phone right here and uh, help me catch an 18 inch redfish. Now he's pretty and he also has two spots on his tail. You can see there on one side and one on the other. So pretty little redfish. Here you go, buddy. So I had to make the move again to go find something and I saw a huge redfish. There's a redfish right there. I can see. I'm going to attempt to throw towards him and see what happens. Roll up in front of him. Here he is. Come get it, redfish. Come get it, redfish. There he goes. There he goes. Thank you, Lord. All right. Oh, no, he got off. Dang it. He got off. Oh, crud. Dang, man. I was sight casting and threw it to him, and he took it and did not have a good hook set on him. Oh. Maybe he'll come back and we'll try it again. Goodness gracious, man, that was gonna be awesome. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wowzers. After not catching anything there, it was time to get on the move again. So here we go. I was hoping to be tear him up this morning and come home early, but I have not torn him up. I, I can't. I can't find them. I saw a big redfish and I threw towards him and he, he hooked onto me for about five seconds and spit it out. He was running too, he's pulling drag, spit it out. I'm sorry, honey. And yet, while I'm talking with you, I just caught a fish. Thank you, Lord. I hadn't caught one in a while, so we'll see what this is. While I was on the phone with Caleb, I caught one too. I probably didn't talk with Joshua today. <laughs> well, he's sitting here next to me if you want to talk to him next. <laughs> this is a smaller trout. He's not big enough. He spit it, but that's all right. I think she caught something. So, for those folks who are watching my video right now, my son and my wife were uh, my good luck charms. I don't just believe in luck, but God bless me with them. Now I need to talk with Joshua and maybe he'll land me a big one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Red. Yes, sir, Mr. Red. Come here, baby. Yes, sir, Mr. Red. Not big, but we'll take it all day long. Here we go. Here we go. Come here, Red. Good fight, buddy. Good fight, buddy. Come here, pretty. Pretty copper. Pretty copper. Come here, bud.
There we go. Thank you, Lord. Been a while since I caught one, but that was nice. Went back to old faithful LeBron's. Salt Strong's LeBron's Mulligan. It's a four inch paddle tail. And it can still get the job done. I hear you grunting, buddy. Let you loose in just a second. He's pretty. He will not measure. He's not big enough. He is, well, take that back. So 218, but he's right on the bottom part of 18. And I'm going to let him roll. So there he is. Pretty, pretty copper color. See him right there. All right, buddy, here you go. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate that. Thank you. i catch another. Maybe bigger. would be awesome, too, but I'm grateful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Another red. Another red will settle down here for a second. So I get him off the bottom. Come here, buddy. Yeah, beautiful. Copper. Copper color reds. These are pretty over here. Come here, Blake. There you go. Another pretty red fish, 18 and a half. So he's another keeper. So all three of them have been small keepers. However, I don't normally keep red fish. I'll let them go back and get bigger so I can catch them again. There he is. Pretty little guy. Alrighty. Well, that's fun. Thank you, Lord. On the Salt Strong Mulligan coming through. I hadn't used it in a little while and decided to go back to it. There you go. Felt that thump. That was a good thump. Yes, sir. Come on, buddy. Another little red. That was a good thump. He hit it good. He's smaller than the other ones, but he's fighting big. He's fighting big. Good fight, little guy. Good fight, little guy. Come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at him. Pretty. Super pretty. Come here, buddy. Come here. We'll make this quick and painless. Acrobat. Acrobat. Good job, buddy. Good job, little guy. Yeah, he's smaller. He's about, I guess, in 14? No, okay. Well, actually, with his tail pin, the way you're supposed to do it, and I didn't do it with the other ones, he is 18. So, that's fourth, 18. And 18 and a half, it might have been 19 had I pinched the other tail. Again, on the LeBron's, show it to you in a second. Take care of some business here. Hold up, man. There he is, pretty little guy. The LeBron's mulligan. <laughs> it's got kind of a bronzy top to it and a white bottom and uh, it's doing a good job for me for show. Sure. Mm, wowzers. What a big hit. Come back, baby. There he is. There he is. Smaller fish. Smaller than a trout. There we go. Okay. You spit it at the boat, which is fine. 
I kind of hossed him. That's all right with me. Good deal. Trout are here. Okay. There he is. Come on, Lobotron. Yes, sir. Thank the Lord. This is a good sized trout, I think. I just want to hit like it. You know, feeling big right now as I'm pulling him towards me. There he is. Oh, oh it's red. Little red, but he hit it big. Little red hit that Molotron. That's my first time catching one on the Molotron. I didn't know that it worked, but evidently it does. Pretty guy. And check out the color on this one. Because he is not nearly as copper as all his other ones were. And uh, he's pretty, pretty little guy. He's probably. 14, I don't know, 15 maybe, I'm a bad judge today, 16 and a half, that's fun, thank you Lord, kind of switched up baits, and he came after it, good little buddy, that's cool, thank you Lord, alright Molotron, good job, good work, let's do it again, Yes, sir. Got you, little trout. Got you, little trout. Good fight, buddy. <laughs> Mulligan strikes again. Good job, little buddy. Free little thing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, trout. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. He's got a little bit better size to him. Yes, sir. That's a 16 and a half inch trout. 16 and a half inch trout. Good job, buddy. Good job, pal. I think I will be taking him home today. The old mulligan. Getting in some work. Good job, mulligan. So, a couple of things I really like about the mulligan. Number one, good paddle tail action and cast super far. It's got these mulligan... Um, foot from this camera. It's got these dimples in it. And the dimples kind of show up, I don't know, almost like scales in the water, but they also allow it to be thrown farther, more aerodynamically like a golf ball, hence the term mulligan. What I don't like about it is they can get their tails bit off like most plastics. And that's why I have switched to some Z-Man stuff, but right now mulligan so strong mulligan is beating Z-Man. So once again, it was time to move. I had to go find this fish. Summertime, welcome to it. Not always easy. Got to keep looking. There he is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That thing came right to me. I wasn't expecting it. Is that a trout? I can like a trout. There's my red. Flashed like a trout. Yeah, it's a red and blue tail. Thank you, Lord. All right, that was fun. That was fun. Come on, baby. Pretty. Got a blue, got a blue tail. Pretty red, pretty red. Pretty. 
what I probably need to do is do a color comparison between this one and the bronze ones that I was showing you earlier. So I'll show you the difference, but major color difference. So maybe I can pull the video up and show you that. Very light colored and a super blue tinted tail. If you can see that here close. And pretty little pretty little red. And uh that one I'm guessing measures at 17. We'll see. I'm off the mark today. 18 and a half. 18 and a half inch red, so Thank you, Lord, for that. All right, buddy. Go grow bigger. And I'll catch you later. All right? And that was fun. Thank you, Lord. Golly, you hit it immediately. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hit it immediately. That was awesome. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. I don't know if my drag is not set. I think it's set. I think this is a bigger fish. Yes, sir. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, no. Oh, no. He broke me off. Are you kidding me? Dang. Are you kidding me? This, there was my big red. And that joker broke me off at the hook. Look at that. I've not retied that in a while, so that's where the. I should have maybe retied that. That's where the loop goes right there. Dad gum it. Mm. That was a bigger red. Man. Yes. Lord, bring him back to me. So I'm finishing up my day. It was not the best fishing day. Summertime is uh, strange because sometimes it's just not as good. And that's kind of one of those days. So the Lord's given me uh, a great boat, a great setup. I'm grateful for help that I have. And he let me catch several keeper reds, uh, nothing major size besides the ones I lost, the one that broke me off and uh, just a, a couple of keeper trout, but it was a, a beautiful day. Grateful to the Lord for the opportunity to get out and just to relax and have my day off. Wind's blowing and it's a pretty day out here. Hey, remember you are valuable, made in the image of God. I encourage you to seek him through the Old New Testament scriptures. You need to read about Jesus and see that Jesus is God in skin and he shows us what it means uh, to have a relationship with him and also he shows us how to serve others and impact our culture for him i would love to talk to you more about that if you want to uh, give me a comment and give me a holler blessings to you see you